to install Vibe in a Windows system, you gotta do some steps. Add a folder, I'll name it Mocap. Then you have to install this Miniconda and this other Microsoft executable. You choose Python 3. When it finishes the download, you can install. I won't install because I already installed it here. Install the Microsoft One. Download the X64 version. Also install it. And here is the tricky part. You download this file. I won't download it because it takes too long to download. I have uh, another version here. Which I'm going to bring to the same folder. After installing both of these two, we're going to extract this file. Extract here a mocap file. Then you open it, go to the bin folder, copy the address, go to my computer properties. Here's a little bit different because this is a Windows Insider preview version, but you go to advanced config system, system config, something like that. System variable, go to path here, add a new one, and paste the MPEG folder. I already done it, so I'm gonna exclude it, because it's already here. Okay, okay, okay close it. Now we are gonna open Miniconda. Go to Anaconda folder. Open Anaconda prompt. And now we are gonna have to follow some instructions. Oh, first, download both these files to the same folder. Let's do it here. Mocap. Download it here. This other one, also. Fine. Let's extract them here, too. I'm going to create a new folder. Call it Vibe. Open this, copy everyone inside this Vibe folder. They are here. Now you get the other file. This one, Vibe Win install main. Open it, extract inside Vibe folder. Take these files, accept README move it here. Now we are going to do conda prompt here. We are going to have to run these instructions. Oh, but first let's go to the folder we created. The CD mocap CD vibe. Now let's run them. This is going to create the virtual environment so we can install all the files needed in Python to run the Vibe program. Now we can activate it. I'm gonna copy here. It's the same instruction.
activate it and install. Kuda took it. Man, this pet is crazy. Install it. Yep. Then you run these two bad files. Install. It's going to install all the files needed. I'm gonna pause it because it takes a little bit too long. Now that install conda has finished, let's run the prepare data.bat. It also takes a while. I'm gonna pause it. Now that prepare data has finished, basically it's all done. Um, if you see here, there is instruction to execute this kind of activate VM vibe. This means to activate the virtual environment. But in this case, if you see here, VM vibe, it means that we are already with the virtual environment activated. So we can jump this part now <coughs> and go to the execution of the demo. So we can copy this. Oh, by the way, um, here you got the Python file with instruction to get the simple video. Video, you can change it for another video, MP4, M. Another, uh, I didn't test too much types of video, but MP4 I think is the best one to test. Then you set the flag, the output folder. Here is chosen the output folder. Here you see that there is no output folder, but after we run it, it's gonna be created. So let's run it. Let me copy this and run here. And you can see this demo outer. Uh, this is another file I have created based on the demo.py that is the original one. This demo outer has some configurations different to work better on Windows machine. Here you're seeing the um, multi-person tracking running. After this, it's gonna download a pre-trained file or something like that. And then he's going to execute the pose estimation. This process, uh, it only gets the pose estimation and creates a PKL file that basically I don't know how to use it but after that you can convert to FBX to use on other 3D software program. This video I'm making won't cover the conversion from the PKL file to FBX. I'm going to prepare another video explaining that part. So the process has finished and you see now there is an output file with the name of the video file and you can see that video we saw just now, it the post estimation the software has done and the PKL file that we can convert it later to FBX. That's it for now. Bye.